Hi, I'm Meg Tilly. I'm the author of Solace Island, and this is what I'm reading. The first book is Wave by Sonali Darani Yagala. Her heartbreaking memoir opens the day after Christmas 2004. She's on vacation with her family. They're staying at a beachside hotel in Sri Lanka when a tsunami hits, and her Two young sons, her husband, her mother, and her father are swept out to sea. The uh, bravery of this author humbled me. Her unflinching honesty, the way that nothing, no thought or emotion is candy wrapped. She gives us, the reader, the gift of the human core of her that's stripped bare by grief. It is tender and brutal and uh, loving and devastating and uh, I just feel so blessed to have read it. The next book I'd like to recommend is The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. I first read this book in 2002 and um, I had decided after a lifetime of letting other people handle my money I needed to get over my fear. So for the next two years I read over a hundred finance books and I would say that Benjamin Graham uh, book along with Susie Orman's No Nonsense books are at the top of my list. So I'm rereading it now and it's sort of a hello to my old self and it's amazing the different things I'm seeing now that I didn't see then. The third book I'm reading right now is Ravished by Amanda Quick. Ravished is a wonderfully satisfying Beauty and the Beast story. So I just love the unique humor that's woven throughout and the the keen, fierce intelligence of the heroine, Harriet, and her love of paleontology and the crisp, no-nonsense way that she approaches the world. And, um, and then you have Gideon, who's a scarred, uh, misunderstood hero, and it's the strength of Harriet's love and her belief in him that gives us a most wonderful happy ever after for this unlikely couple.